Welcome to this tutorial today where we will be discussing the nucleolus. The nucleolus itself being a structure or more specifically a region that we will find within the nucleus of our cells. So they are not actually an organelle within their own right and are not membrane bound. So we know we have a nucleus within our eukaryotic cell. So I'll just write down here eukaryotic cell and we've got our nucleus and we also have a zoomed in view of a nucleus down here as well. Now our nucleolus is going to appear as a darkly staining region within the nucleus and when I say darkly staining I just mean that if we were to perform a cell stain such as a H&E stain we would see this area within the nucleus that appears darker than the rest. So let's just write down that our nucleolus is housed within the nucleus and it's not an organelle. Now the nucleolus we usually only have one of within any particular nucleus. We sometimes have uh, two and in specific cells we may have uh, actually much more than two depending on the stage of that cell's life cycle that it's at or the type of cell that it is. So we usually only have one or two and I'll just draw a second nucleolus here. And the number of nucleoli that we have within any given cell is usually reflective of its function which is ribosomal subunit construction and we'll write that down now. So if we have a very young cell that is producing lots and lots of proteins, we will expect to see additional nucleoli because we need more ribosomes. So the nucleolus is responsible for ribosomal subunit construction. Now let's zoom into an individual nucleoli here to see uh, what it looks like and what's going on in that process of the subunit construction. So we have a nucleolus here which is just the name for that region within the nucleus and we know that it's going to be producing these ribosomal subunits but it doesn't actually produce the protein components that happens in a different way. The nucleolus itself is going to be a structure that forms around a specific area of your DNA and that area of DNA is called your ribosomal DNA. And our ribosomal DNA is going to be arranged into tandem repeats. So the same uh, grouping of nucleotides repeated again and again and again. So if we have a strand of DNA here, and we'll just write DNA at the top, we have this one area of code. That's going to be our ribosomal DNA. But we have the same code repeated again and again and again and that's why we call it tandem repeats. And these tandem repeats of the ribosomal DNA are going to be responsible for coding ribosomal RNA or rRNA and we know that we incorporate rRNA into our ribosomal subunit. So we've got this rRNA that's been uh, transcribed from our ribosomal DNA. And we call this whole region where the nucleolus is creating ribosomal RNA from the ribosomal DNA the nucleolar organizer region or the NOR and we'll just outline that here. So this whole entire area here where this process is happening is the nucleolar organizer region. Now let's talk quickly about how that ribosomal subunit is actually constructed. So we have our ribosomal RNAs that have just been transcribed and they're going to be joining the subunits that enter the nucleus from our cytoplasm. And once that happens, they will then exit the nucleus again through the nuclear envelope pores. Now if we just show this up down here, this whole process, so we have our cytoplasm and within our cytoplasm we have the ribosomes that are going to be constructing the protein component of our ribosomal subunit. So we have a small and large subunit that will then enter the nucleus and enter the nucleolar 
organizer region. Once inside the nucleolar organizer region of our nucleolus, the large and small subunits will then join with their respective uh, portions of ribosomal RNA. Then they can leave through the nuclear envelope or through the nuclear pores of the nuclear envelope once more to form a full ribosome. So they're going to join and functionally assemble into the ribosome and we can see our large subunit here will be joined with our small subunit and this step will happen once we're back inside the cytoplasm. So we have our full ribosome now which is going to be involved in protein synthesis. So we just have this messenger RNA strand here and our completed ribosome which is going to be then performing translation. And with that we've covered the basics of our nucleolus. So it's a structure we have within our nucleus that's not going to be classified as an organelle itself, just as a, a region that's going to be performing ribosomal subunit construction and it's also going to be formed around a specific area of DNA called your ribosomal DNA. Now I hope this video has been helpful. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.